The femur length measurement is the simplest of standard biometric measures. This is due to the measurement being effectively one-dimensional. To get a suitable plane of section, just line the transducer with the bone's long axis. No more transducer adjustments are necessary. However, this does not indicate that measurement or observation mistakes are uncommon. Quite the opposite is true. The FL measurement does not include the entire femur, which is important to note. Measurements are only limited to the ossified diaphysis and metaphysis. Sonographic measurements of the femur only consider the ossified region of the diaphysis and metaphysis. The measurement excludes cartilaginous femoral head, greater trochanter, and distal epiphysis. The measurement does not contain the distal femur epiphyseal, secondary ossification center. To correctly measure the diaphysis, align the transducer with its long axis. Let's understand how can one ensure the transducer is correctly aligned? Accepting the longest femoral length as the most accurate measurement is one approach. This assumes that the transducer's incorrect alignment with the bone is the only possible reason of undermeasuring the femur. This is an incorrect presumption. By proving that the femoral head, also known as the greater trochanter, and the femoral condyle are both concurrently in the plane of section, the transducer's proper alignment with the femur's long axis is guaranteed. The electronic cursors should simply be placed correctly at the measurement endpoints. Once more, the cartilaginous ends determine the exact location of the measuring cursors. The point where the cartilage and bone meet is where the cursors are positioned. Therefore, the following guidelines apply when measuring the femur. To begin, position the transducer such that it lines up with the femur and frees the plane that displays the distal condyle and cartilaginous femoral head. Next, position the measurement markers at the point where the bone and cartilage meet, taking care not to include the distal femoral tip.